Movies worth watching and watching again. These are Movie Gems. Shh, it's starting. You know, it's a treat to sit down to a great movie. But do you have trouble finding a worthwhile film you can watch with your family and friends? I'm Jay Fulmer, and I'm here to help. Martin Scorsese is thought by some to be the greatest director alive. And perhaps he thinks so too, but he was having a struggle when he couldn't show any of his movies to his kids because of their content. What's a great director to do? Make a movie his kids can see. The fruits of that labor are found in the movie Hugo. Based on the Caldecott award-winning novel, The Invention of Hugo Cabret, the movie is set in 1930s Paris and follows an orphan, Hugo, who lives in the walls of a train station, where his survival depends on secrets and anonymity. But when his world suddenly interlocks with an eccentric bookish girl, Isabel, I'll help you if I can. Be steadfast. And a bitter old man who runs a toy booth in the station, Go away. Hugo's undercover life and his most precious secret are put in jeopardy. A cryptic drawing, a treasured notebook, a heart-shaped key, a mechanical man, and a hidden message from Hugo's dead father form the backbone of this intricate, tender, and spellbinding mystery. At its heart, it's the age-old story of an orphan trying to find a home, and a broken man healed by a child. It's a love letter to the history of cinema, which plays both a literal and metaphorical part in the plot. It celebrates the origins of moving picture storytelling and effects, while showcasing some of the best of both that modern movies can offer. Grand sets. Vivid colors. Stunning camera movements. Rich costumes sumptuous ambiance, and it was even filmed in 3D. All of this as if to display how much has been built on the backs of the very first innovators of cinema, to whom we are all indebted. When creating the world of the train station, much of what we observe through the eyes of Hugo are like silent film vignettes, storytelling in pantomime. So much is done with a movement, or a glance. At other times, there are very definite homages to silent film masters of the past, Harold Lloyd in Safety Last, or Charlie Chaplin in Modern Times. Now, the pacing of the story might seem a little slow in the first half as we wonder where the story is going, but even though it doesn't end up where you'd think, you'll be glad to be there when it arrives. Especially as we are led there, by such a worthy young protagonist. Hugo is capable, generous, and caring. He thinks deeply about people, where he belongs, and about the purpose of things. Machines never come with any extra parts, you know. They always come with the exact amount they need. So I figured if the entire world was one big machine, I couldn't be an extra part. I had to be here for some reason. And that means you have to be here for some reason too. The film has a very strong cast, including its supporting characters such as Christopher Lee, Jude Law, and Emily Mortimer. If I were to make one replacement, it would be Sasha Baron Cohen, who played the antagonistic station inspector who specializes in capturing young stray urchins and sending them off to the orphanage. He is serviceable in the part, but just a bit too off-putting to make me care about his character arc, even though I really wanted to. It's a part I might have rather seen played by the likes of Johnny Depp, who was one of the producers of the movie. Even though this is a family film, it may not connect as well with younger viewers. In its attempt to create a delicate balancing act between historical drama and child adventure, I think it struggles at times with finding its tone. There's a lot of questing which is fun, but the payoff is not quite what the film seemed to promise in its first half. 
Although I think it is ultimately cohesive, it can feel like two movies. I would also suggest not watching it on your phone. It's really made to be a visual spectacle, best seen larger if possible. Ultimately, I agree with Martin Liebman when he wrote, Hugo is a film about secrets and discoveries, forgotten pasts and hopeful futures. It's the embodiment of pure, wondrous cinema, cinema as it was and should be, a true labor of love that's not to be missed and made to be experienced. Hugo came out in 2011, has a runtime of two hours and six minutes, and is rated PG. I give this movie nine gems. Well, what do you think? Would you like to try it out? You can probably find this film at your local library, but you can also watch it through streaming online. Just type your movie title into the search bar and include the word streaming. You'll see results showing where you can rent it, or perhaps it's already on a streaming service you subscribe to. Once you watch it, come on back and tell us what you thought in the comments section. If you're already a fan of the movie, tell us in the comments what you loved about it and encourage others to watch it too. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified of new episodes as they come out. See you next time for more Movie Gems.